Hello Internet, and for long time viewers, yes, I am doing a little visual overhaul on how I present my Let's Draw content, and don't worry, your speed paint with voiceover will still be the bread and butter, just some changes on how the video is going to look to be more to my taste of how I want things to be presented on this channel. So today's Let's Draw will be based on the Lunatics Unleash video Let's Draws that I did, and I'll link the playlist here, but basically I redesigned the whole cast of the Lunatics Unleashed to make their designs at least from a first glance not so cringy looking. And I also designed a team of villains based off Looney Tune characters for the Lunatics Unleashed to have Saturday morning cartoon battles with. And so I'm picking the two most popular redesigned characters from those videos and I'm pretty sure looking at the picture you can tell which ones are the ones, so let's get into it. So the popularity of my redesign characters are based on analytics and how many people were tuned into their portion of the video. So we're starting off with the most popular redesign character of this Lunatics Unleashed series altogether, which is Techie Coyote. And considering Techie Coyote's fans really like him with likes being in quotes and on retrospect his redesign, igniting some type of feelings in certain people possibly, I should have seen this one coming. So there's not much change to his design really besides drawing in my art style so I don't have to rewire my brain again like I did for the Lunatics Unleashed videos, the original three. Um, there's not much change to his visual design, I'm just drawing my redesigned version of Techie Coyote. And it's quite convenient that I'm doing this video now because there's a whole thing surrounding the um, Wiley Coyote versus Acme movie that was being created by Warner Bros. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but there's been some speculation going on that Warner Bros. purposely canceled the movie to like get some type of write off, which could essentially save millions on Warner Brothers' part. But you know, I have no idea, I'm not deep into the loop, and any more informed people can let me know in the comment section what's going on but i just thought to mention that because i just think it was very convenient i'm drawing techie coyote while that drama is going on to end the techie coyote segment off on a relevant point i just want to mention how i'm surprised so many people are shocked with the amount of furries that we have now considering so many of the old cartoons have what is quite frankly furry big characters do we really need to get into minerva mink So we have our final character for today's Let's Draw episode and the second most popular of my redesigns, which is Pierre Le Pew. Pierre Le Pew, for all intents and purposes, is a stand-in for Pepe Le Pew for those outside the Lunatics Unleashed lore loop, and they made him a human in the original show. For my fascination, Lunatics Unleashed can be silly sometimes, but I only mention that connection because it seems like Warner Brothers doesn't know what to do with Pepe Le Pew, especially after the controversy he ended up being subject to a few years ago, where both sides of the table in this situation were completely off kelter. No, the people who created Pepe didn't intend for him to be essentially an incel propaganda piece. He essentially is supposed to be the butt of the joke because he's the weirdo who stank and doesn't know how women don't really want to be around them because of that because that's effectively the butt of the joke and no pepe should not be um, romanticized or be seen as an idol for men to look up to and if anything it says more about you that you think that the things he does in his shorts are supposed to be romantic like yeah you clearly been on certain parts of the internet but salt aside <laughs> i want to basically propose an idea of how Warner Brothers can go about bringing Pepe back because you haven't seen him a lot in Looney Tunes related stuff like that. So my idea, especially if there's anybody from Warner Brothers listening, on how to bring Pepe Le Pew back is effectively making him the male version of what Lola Bunny was in the original Space Jam. Make him an intentional very big character that, you know, woos the internet over. And if Warner Brothers or anyone from Warner Brothers is watching, DreamWorks already did it and capitalized off that audience. And it seemed like Elden Ring saw that and decided to do the same. And so I'm just saying if Pepe Le Pew was essentially a male fan service character like Lola in the original Space Jam, you could potentially have an audience there who really likes Pepe. I mean, we all know it's there, so why not cater to it? <laughs> 
And I just find this funny because we also, well, not we, but I've seen discussions about sexualization in video games and in general in media. And I just find it funny that male characters like Pepe, who would actually benefit from sexualization considering they're, you know, suggestive and romantic and hyper, you know, ladies man per persona, like, if we're gonna sexualize anybody, I think characters like male characters like Pepe would kind of fit the bill because at least as far as their character, it would make sense. Oh, they like female attention and they try to do everything can they can to get it. So um, that's just basically a blueprint that I think they could go on, you know, maybe when it comes to the stench problem with Pepe, like he's aware that he smells bad and he tries everything he can to mask the scent. And so he's not just like, a pretty, you know, furry bait face. He actually has character behind him. And that's really all I have to say on that front. I mean, I just think Warner Brothers should try this angle because like I said, DreamWorks and Elden Ring and other people have seemed to capitalize off that market. So there you go. So I'm gonna end things off here. And if you made it to this point in the video, thank you for watching. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be more busy on Instagram, so you can check that out and follow it because I tend to post more often there. And I'll see you in the next Let's Draw. Bye.